Weight loss and gut health are absolutely 100% connected. For about, I'd say five-ish years, I was restricting calories. I was eating clean. I was binge eating and I was in my eating disorder. And I think that the weight gain that I experienced during that time was a combination of calorie excess. Even though I was likely in a calorie deficit on some days, I was in a calorie surplus many days of the week with those binge eating episodes. So I think my body was also resistant to weight loss when I did have those periods of being well, not binge eating as much because my body was in such a state of stress from my poor gut health that I just feel that my body was so inflamed it did not want to lose a pound. It wanted to hang on to things for an emergency. My body was in this low state crisis, this low grade inflammation. And no matter what I did, I was also doing a bunch of HIIT workouts and HIIT workouts can actually add a source of stress. If you are not in a place where you're restoring your nervous system and your life is also not calm. So if you have a really stressful job and you're doing HIIT workouts five, six days a week for the purpose of losing weight, you're restricting calories, that can put a lot of stress on your adrenal glands and from there your cortisol can be spiked more of the time and you don't want to be in a state where your body is not coming back to a place of rest in that parasympathetic rest and digest place because that does not allow your body to digest the best way that it can. It does not promote rest and a hormone balance inside of you and you do need that in order to heal and to lose weight. That was kind of the scenario, what I just described that I was doing. I was doing all these beach body workouts, I was drinking the shake, I was using the containers, but it sucked because that was not my solution. I was trying to just take care of stuff by like, it's almost like your window needs to be replaced and there's like dirt on the outside and you try cleaning the window, you try like cleaning it, but it never actually gets clean because there's dirt on the inside and you actually have to get a new window in order for things to actually change. So I really needed to regenerate all these damaged cells. I needed to seal up the gut and I needed to actually provide my body with the rest and the right nutrition in order to see some changes. And I couldn't actually get there for the longest time because I always felt that like whole foods were boring. I felt like I could not ever live without sweets. And thankfully I discovered that natural sweeteners, there are some that don't actually spike the blood sugar and they taste just like sugar. They're on Amazon, they're at the store. And those are allulose and monk fruit. And those actually you can use in baking. You can change your sweets into desserts that actually don't spike the blood sugar and when you can keep a level blood sugar your body can actually restore the tissues that get damaged with high blood sugar. That was a great turning point for me when I discovered that I could actually change the types of food that I was eating. I could make substitutes that were basically upgrades that satisfied me, that made me know that I wasn't giving anything up. I was just making more mindful choices and mind you I never gave up anything either. <laughs> I think that there's a lot of videos out there that say, I just eat what I want, but I really did feel like I was able to eat what I wanted. And I fell in love with eating those more healthy foods, even though like I knew that cauliflower mac and cheese didn't taste as good as the real thing. I knew that it would be really delicious anyway. And I could get like a small amount of real mac and cheese next time I go to Whole Foods Hot Bar and just a few bites of it. And it helped me really get in that mentality that I don't give up foods. I'm on this lifestyle change. This is my forever life. And also if I was starting to get like kind of bent out of shape or wanting to use food to comfort myself or have larger portions, sometimes I would just allow myself to, but other times I would go back and I would remind myself that this is not just about this moment. This is about the rest of my life. And I wanted to just bring myself into that position where that perspective could just sink in and it brought my mind to a place where I could make better decisions and when I could do that every single day it really helped me stick with the habits that I was starting and it made me feel like this is this is great if I can just you know find routines and habits that help me feel good and I also enjoy that is sustainable if you're looking to lose weight if you're losing <laughs> if you want to lose like any amount of weight really I lost 30 pounds doing this but you're going to want to get on a gut healing protocol, take care of your gut. And if you're not really sure if your gut is inflamed or if you need support in that area, I invite you to go check out the other videos on my channel. I have a bunch of them on gut health, how to tell if your gut is out of order. 
and I also have a book available on Amazon which is linked in the description box that you can just take, you can get that book and you can go through it and by the end of that book you will know how to take care of your gut and it's for anybody beginner, intermediate and it's just a really helpful tool that is going to help set things straight, remove confusion and give you a plan to make things straightforward and easy to stick with. So that's what we really need. We need something that sticks and that's what I really want to help you with. I want to support you in changing your life in a way that is not hard and doesn't feel like you're going to try what I do and then next month you're going to go try somebody else's because, oh, that was too hard or I'm not interested. No, you want to find something that actually sticks so you can continue to improve your life month by month, year by year. And you can actually reverse a lot of damage, if not all damage, that you've done to your body on the inside by eating well and taking care of your gut by diversifying those gut bacteria in there and healing the gut tissue. And yes, it does take time. It's not going to be done in just one month, but you can expect over the course of three months to six months, nine months to see so much change. You can be, think about it. If you were, had, if you had reached your goal six months from now, would you take the action? And also if it didn't feel hard and super unsustainable, would you would you take the action? And I'm thinking that you would because think about how many years you've been struggling with trying to reach your goal and it hasn't worked because you keep trying to find the thing that works for you. I hope that was helpful and I will see you in the next video.